Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to play Indiana Jones and the Great Circle on Steam Deck running on SteamOS using Microsoft's xCloud Cloud Game Streaming Service. We'll be using better xCloud to improve the quality of xCloud. You just need to have Game Pass Ultimate subscription in order to use xCloud, don't need to own the game. In India, monthly subscription costs around Rs. 8 to 9, in US its price is around $20. I have Windows 11 installed on my Steam Deck, try running the PC Game Pass version of the game on it. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the game working on deck. Game kept crashing at startup during the shader cache compilation screen. This game consumes a lot of VRAM that may be causing the crash. I have set the UMF buffer size to 4 GB on deck. We cannot set the UMF buffer size value to anything higher than 4 GB. I have installed Steam Deck's Windows APU driver that was released on 15th August 2024. As you can see, the game crashed. I just switched to SteamOS. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Better xCloud supports both Steam Deck controller and a third party controller. I will be using both of them. We will show you the setup process. You can use either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser to run xCloud. I will be using Chrome. Just download it from Discover Store. It's absolutely free. Type Chrome. Hit enter. There it is. Install. Need to use the correct controller profile for Steam Deck's controller. Just open Steam. Click on Steam here. Then click on Settings. Click on Controller. Make sure Steam Deck controller is selected. Now click on Edit right next to Desktop Layout. Click on Using Template. Click on Templates. Select this template Gamepad with Joystick Trackpad. Apply. And that's it. Next cloud should be able to detect Steam Deck controller. Download complete. Just open Chrome. Optional stuff. Make it as your default browser. Sign into your account. Highly recommend it. Your settings will be saved across different PCs. Turn on sync. Optional. Finally, we are in. Now just search for Better X Cloud on Google. Click on the second link here. Better X Cloud. GitHub.io I'll give its link in the description of the video, don't worry. Now just click on this link, install on Chrome Edge. This is for Steam Deck. You need to install Tampa Monkey. Just click on it. It's an extension. Add to Chrome. Add extension. Done. Now just click on the three dots here in the top right corner. Click on Manage Extension. Just extensions. Now click on manage extensions. This page will pop up. From here make sure Tampa Monkey is enabled. You need to enable developer mode as well. Just toggle it. Go back to Better X Cloud's GitHub page. Now we need to install Better X Cloud script. Click on install Better X Cloud. This script will pop up. Just need to click on install here. And that's it. It has been installed. Now go to this page. Click on the link, xbox.com, play. Now if xCloud is not available in your country, you will be seeing this message. Thank you for your interest. Service not available. This error can be easily bypassed by using a VPN. But it's not required if you are using better xCloud. Just close the browser. Open it again. Go to xCloud's website. You can see better xCloud is showing up here. It got loaded up. The process is that simple. In case it's not showing up here, just click on your profile icon here, sign in, then just open profile settings. Sign into your Microsoft account that has an active membership of Game Pass Ultimate. I just signed into my account. You can see better xCloud icon is gone now. Just click on your profile icon. Now click on view full profile. Close this prompt. There's better xCloud icon. Now just click on it. Better xCloud setting. As the service is not available in my country that is India, I will be changing my region. We just need to select the region nearest to our country. This will help in keeping the latency in check. Just to be clear, if the service is available in your country, you don't need to change your region. Bypass region restriction set to off by default. I will just select Korea. I get roughly the same thing using Japan and Korea based servers of Xlord from India. First, I'll test the Korea based server, then I'll test the Japan based server. Click on Reload page to reflect changes. 
on the reload icon now if you click on cloud gaming games will load up that error message is gone now open better explore settings again region these are xcloud servers i have selected korea central japan east so many america based servers europe based servers australia based servers i have selected korea central scroll down target resolution very important now text display supports up to 800p resolution only but i'll just select full hd high quality why not visual quality set to high maximum bit rate unlimited i think it supports up to 20 megabits per second mouse and keyboard support yes some x cloud games natively support mouse and keyboard service even supports touch controls off when controller found i have disabled it completely optional in order to use the touch controls just tap on the touch screen layout i'll stick with the default settings here video settings very important render set to web gl2 limit fps unlimited don't cap the fps render configuration high performance service really use any power you can stream x cloud games for hours and hours clarity boost amd fidelity fx cs aspect ratio 16 is to 10 very important won't be seeing any black bars on both top and bottom sides of the display position center sharpness i'll set the level to 4 sliders for saturation contrast brightness 100% controller setting device vibration off okay i'll be using dex controller just press any of its buttons yeah got detected microsoft xbox 360 polling rate can be adjusted vibration intensity yes it works 80% stats check the setting show stats when starting the game and enable the desired stats i'll enable battery ping Jitter also enable. Just highlight them: FPS, bitrate, decode time, packet loss, frames loss. That's it. Scroll down. Position top right. Text size large. Opacity level 80 percent. Yeah, that's it. I'm using Steam Deck stick to navigate to the interface. Connected to a 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi channel. Airtel Extreme Fiber broadband connection. 100 megabits per second plan. Stalker 2 was added to X Cloud few weeks ago. I'll just start Indiana Jones. It started. We are in getting a ping of around 138 milliseconds. Streams FPS, bitrate, interface settings can be accessed by tapping on this icon here in the top left corner. Tap on the three dots. Exit full screen settings. Quit game. Server name Korea Central. Close. Better X Cloud settings can be opened up by tapping on the control icon here. Already covered. Touch controller. Change its position. I'll just use Steam Deck controls to play the game. Back to the game. Yeah, Steam Deck controls are working. Load a save file. Just wanted to show you the real world input delay. Nothing extreme. Getting a Latency of around 140 milliseconds. Final latency is expected using the Korea-based server from India. After all, very impressed by the image quality. Textures are looking so sharp. Bitrate 19 megabits per second. No packet loss. Swing my gun around. Okay, now I'll be showing you how to use XCloud in Steam OS gaming mode. Exit the Steam first. Quit. Before that, I'll just switch to Japan-based server. Click on Better XCloud icon here. Click on Home icon here. Need to change the region. Set to Japan. Reload. Open Better XCloud settings again. Select the server region, Japan East. Reload. Close Google Chrome. 
क्लिक ऑन स्टीम ऑस आइकन है गो टू इंटरनेट लुक फॉर गोल क्रोम राइट क्लिक नाउ क्लिक ऑन एड टू स्टीम दैट्स एट नाउ गूगल क्रोम शुड शो अप इन योर स्टीम लाइब्रेरी स्विच टू स्टीम ऑस गेम मोड दिस टाइम आई एल बी यूजिंग माई कॉस्मिक वाइज टेल आर इज गेम पैक टू स्ट्रीम द गेम जस्ट सर्च फॉर क्रोम दैट इज टैप ऑन द कंट्रोल आइकन है सिलेक्ट योर कंट्रोलर यूजिंग दिस प्रोफाइल गेम पैड स्टैंडर्ड वर्क नाउ गूगल क्रोम विल स्टार्ट जस्ट गो टू एक्स क्लाउड्स ब्राउजर वेबसाइट वेट फॉर द पेज टू लोड अप वेर यू गो स्टार्ट द गेम परफॉर्मेंस क्यू एम सेटिंग्स ओवरली लेवल सेट टू थ्री आई हेव डिसेबल स्टीम वॉइस वीसिंग बाय इनेबलिंग डिसेबल फ्रेम लिमिट एंड अलॉट ट्रेनिंग सेटिंग्स एंड रिड्यूसिंग द लेटेंसी दैट्स इट आई हाइड दिस बैड नेटवर्क नोटिफिकेशन टैप ऑन द थ्री डॉट्स इन द टॉप लेफ्ट कॉर्नर जस्ट टैप ऑन सेटिंग्स है टैप ऑन स्ट्रीमिंग अनचेक दिस सेटिंग नेटवर्क क्वालिटी इंडिकेटर दे रि गो इन गेम सेटिंग्स दिस इज द एक्सबॉक्स वर्जन ऑफ द गेम आई जस्ट डिसेबल मोशन प्लर क्रोमैटिक एबरेशन एंड फिन ग्रेड सेट इट टू नील शॉपिंग सेट टू फिफ्टी दैट्स इट चेक आउट द रियल वर्ल्ड इनपुट डिले गेटिंग अ पिंग ऑफ अराउंड वन थर्टी फोर मिली सेकेंड्स सम नीट आई बेग जपान सम लेटेंसी इज नोटिसबल यूजिंग द जपान पे सर्व फ्रॉम इंडिया आफ्टर ऑल लेटेंसी वोन पी अ प्रॉब्लम एफ एक्स क्लाउड हैज इट सर्व अवेलेबल इन योर कंट्री गेटिंग एन एफ पी एस विद इन रेंज ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स टू सिक्सटी स्ट्रीम इज वेरी स्मूथ एच क्वालिटी इज लुकिंग शार्प बिट रेट सिक्सटीन टू एटीन मेगा पिट्स पर सेकेंड It's a shame that Microsoft still hasn't released XCloud in India. A slight hiccup occurs whenever we activate a checkpoint. It's a game-related issue. Even also, this issue on my desktop PC. Best part is there are no traverses, stutters in this game. Game uses ray tracing for global illumination. We cannot disable it. Pressing the keys, engage in combat. Oh no, my cane is broken. Fist fight. Block that end there. And that's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.